Election Day is almost upon us, and Democrats are concerned about Donald Trump's surprising support in the Latino community. A new poll has Trump gaining ground with Latino voters. Vice President Harris struggling to hold on to Latino voters. So I assembled a panel of undecided and Trump-curious Latino voters to see why they haven't been turned off by inflammatory statements like... Kamala has imported an army of illegal alien gang members and migrant criminals from prisons and jails. Trump's rhetoric about Latinos is darker than a 12-hour chocolate mole. But does that matter to these voters? To get the unvarnished truth, I disguised myself as a representative of a pro-Trump super PAC. The plan? Tell them I was trying to better understand how Trump could appeal to Latino voters while confronting them with Trump's racism firsthand. Can I see everybody's ID real quick and see if you're real citizens? No. no. <laughs> I was born in California. But where are you really from? Come on. Parents are natural born from El Salvador. Salvador, Mexico. Okay. What do you like about Donald Trump? Uh, he's not evasive. It's, it's pretty clear. I mean, this, this is someone that's been uh, at the forefront for a very long time, speaking his mind. When he was on the government, the economy was better than we have it right now. That's the, part, the only part that I like. On the surface, they seem to like Trump, but as we went deeper, I gave them the tools to express themselves in a more nuanced manner. I want to name an issue and you're gonna raise either one or two or three chilies to signify <laughs> how spicy the issue is for you, okay? The economy. Wow, damn, three chilies, that's spicy, spicy, spicy. Okay, healthcare? Not as spicy, but still spicy. Arming janitors. Meaning? Arming, giving weapons to janitors to protect the schools, you know, like when, if a shooter comes in. Okay, no chilies on that. Now that I knew the issues they cared about, it was time to see if there were any Latino celebrity endorsements that might capture their vote. You guys are tough. Bad Bunny? No. Oh, come on, Bad Bunny. I swear it would get you. No, I wouldn't. All right. John Leguizamillo? Leguizamillo. <laughs> well, f*** you too, then. Okay, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if witnessing Donald Trump's rhetoric firsthand makes them want to vote for him more or less. On my first day back in the White House, I will terminate every open borders policy of the Biden administration, stop the invasion of our southern border, and begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. It's an excellent way to fix a very, very severe problem. <laughs> what do you love about deportation? You have criminals. They should all be removed, no? Do you think they should deport American criminals, too? Deport American criminals to where? What's your least favorite South American country? Cuba. If he's saying immigration is a problem, it's like you have a leak in your house. You gotta turn it off, the, uh -huh. the, the water supply. Fix it, then turn it on. Maybe that's what he's trying to do, like, let's close down the border for a while, so. But who would you call to fix your leak if all the Latinos are gone? <laughs> Mass deportation didn't seem to turn them off. Let's try something else. No control whatsoever. Nobody has any idea where these people are coming from. And we know they come from prisons. We know they come from mental institutions, insane asylums. We know they're terrorists. It's poisoning the blood of our country. So what, what do you think of the language that he's using? It's poison. That's his last word what that he used, but that's what it is. So you're saying he's a little too Hitlerish, maybe? He can soften the language a little bit? Instead of poisoning the blood, maybe, uh, what about spraining the ankle of America? giving America gastrointestinal discomfort. You're making it worse. How about if he said ruining the testicles of America? Great, so people don't seem to love the Hitler stuff. Now, what about this clip? How about allowing people to come through an open border, 13,000 of which were murderers, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. I think uh, maybe there's better words that can be used. We all misspeak sometimes. I mean, what I love about Trump is that he misspeaks from the heart. He misspeaks yeah, from yeah. the heart because he's got a lot and he maybe has a good heart. Well said, well said. This is, you know, it's kind of uh, stereotyping Latinos, it's stereotyping immigrants, and uh, the more that you demonize people, it uh, doesn't bring us together. So yeah, you, who, sir, you definitely don't have the murder gene. Oh, let's ask him about Okay, don't speak Spanish because it's not nice. 
Which presidential candidate do you think treats Latinos most like caricatures? I'm going to say a name, and if you agree, scream Ariba. Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, so you clearly think that Trump portrays the Latino population in an accurate and nuanced manner. No. Mm -mm. no. Uh, and why didn't you scream Ariba, Ariba? Well, if your questions and the questions that I'm listening to are about, as you see this, what do you think? I'd rather not see that. So it's better if we don't show these clips of him because they make you not want to vote for him. That's exactly the reason why many who will tell you that they don't like him is because of what he says. Now I understand. The only way Trump is acceptable is if you never see or hear him. It seems like some of these people were finally coming around, but there was something that was still bugging me. Do you want to change your answer for any one of the celebrity endorsements, maybe to John Leguizamo? No. No. You guys never saw Spawn? Did you see his last special? It was good. What did you like most about his last special? <laughs> the setting. He did it like a school setting. Oh, that was real clever. Real arty, too. Finally feeling like we made some progress. It was time to come clean. Okay, I want to thank you for being here and for being so honest with me, but I have not been so honest with you. My name is not really Ron Cusmano, but <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I know that came out. <laughs> now that I've shown you all these awful things about Trump, does that change your vote? No. 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 Democracy.